Hello, I'm Ben, and welcome to the DIY channel. Also, I have Rascal with me, a member of the DIY channel. She's what we call the support pup. Right. This would be the intro for a project completed a couple weeks ago. It's for a swing, a rope swing, in between two trees for my kids and my grandkids. So let's dive into the video and see how it goes. So I'm standing in front of the swing that's hung from the tree. And it's been hung three times so far. The kids swung so much that they wore through the rope. So I put another rope up and put it through a garden hose at the top so it wouldn't wear the rope down. Well, that didn't work because that broke too. The last time I put two ropes with two garden hoses up. So they have already worn through the two hoses at the top. It's just rope on wood. I'm just waiting for it to snap. Hopefully there's two ropes so they won't snap at the same time. So I'm on version four to fix this. And this is where my John Deere 1025R comes into hand. I'm not saying that I'm unsafe, but I'm not saying I'm safe. So we got the tractor. And we're using the tractor as a stand to hold the ladder that's gonna let me go way up top and put a metal cable around the tree, which is gonna be inside of a garden hose. I love my 1025R. Johnny has come in pretty handy. So, we've got a steel cable that's going to run through a garden hose so it doesn't harm the tree. And it's going to go over to that tree. And I'm going to go way up into that tree and hook the cable around one of those upper limbs. And in the very center, we're gonna have this contraption. Take 25, here we have it. All stainless steel, it can swivel. It's got ball bearings so it can turn. It's gonna be attached to a chain so the chain can't break. And it's gonna be hung a lot higher. Where you at, rascal? Come over here, rascal. How you doing, rascal? Did you come to say hi? Are those kids over there being crazy at the badminton set? Are they? Are those being crazy kids? I love you too, rascal. Go get them. No. 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 Hey. Hey. I love you too. Here's the breather. The mouth breather, kids would say. Okay, let's keep this project going. The ladder's actually a lot sturdier than you would think. The curve of the bucket is actually holding the legs of the ladder in place probably better than if it was on the ground. I specifically waited for uh, Natalie to be home from work. And she's got a phone and she's watching in case something horrible did happen. Natalie would be there to help pick up the pieces. I'm not scared of heights, so climbing up the ladder wasn't a problem for me. And I think not being scared meant that I was a lot more comfortable, so I wasn't shaking or, or being scared. It worked out quite well, I thought. Uh, although I would have to say that Natalie's sole purpose of watching me sort of went to the wayside because she got distracted by you guessed it, by our dogs. This is Friday, the smallest. And then of course, Rascal the brown dog and then the big black dog would be the neighbor's dog. A lot of times I'll call him Harry Potter.
So that one is done. About the only hard part was uh, getting the hardware, the, the stainless steel hardware out of my pocket and onto the cable while I was holding it. <laughs> the cable was a little bit longer than it needed to be. I actually cut a big chunk of it off a little bit later, probably about four feet. I climbed all the way up and we struggled trying to to get it taut between the two trees and I had to come down and um, slide the chain over and give up. It actually got too dark. So during the day while Natalie was at work, I took a saw and uh, cut one of the limbs off of the tree. <laughs> My wife. This would be Natalie trying to pull the, the cable to get it over a limb. So that way it was easier for me to, to get the, the cable taut. When I was in the military, I was a safety officer and you had to evaluate things. You had to decide if what you were doing was worth the risk. And then if there were things that were unsafe, you tried to, to do things that would mitigate it. Probably the biggest thing that I'm doing wrong with this ladder is, besides being in the tractor bucket, is normally you have somebody hold the base. That's probably the, the most dangerous part about being on a tall ladder, is if the base were to, to slide out. Normally it would be a two-person job. So this is how it's attached to the tree. There you have it, the rubber hose protects the tree and then the cable goes around it and then it's locked into place this is all stainless steel hardware I put two on each limb because with the grandkids swinging on it I didn't want to take a chance that one of them would fail or one of them wouldn't hold so each one is done on a double Two on there so it won't come loose instead of using a plain nut I ended up using a stainless steel lock washer and that's how the cable is held up on the tree for the swing that's the right supervisor of the swing project mid-level manager worker boss man OSHA inspector. <laughs> yeah, I mean, those cords might have a little bit of slack. We never know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Oh, man. up a ladder with it and then let yourself go. You ready? I would move out of the way everybody. <laughs> I hear my little companion dog Friday barking at the pig next door. <laughs> well even though the rope swing is empty everybody's been having fun. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, and check back in for upcoming videos.